This is our new COM HPC module featuring our, the, new, the newest Intel Core Ultra Meteor Lake processor um, announced just a few days ago by Intel. And uh, hello, I'm Francesco Vajani, Product Manager for Seco, and welcome to our boot at Embedded World 2024. So this is the latest cutting edge Intel for the embedded world? Yes, sure. Because uh, just uh, it was just announced, uh, and here in the Com HPC line of products, uh, we feature just the more powerful products. But uh, if you want uh, to have uh, some, uh, I, I should say, uh, with the less power but less power consumption, we have uh, um, the H series Co uh, Intel Core Ultra Steel Meteor Lake processor uh, Com Express uh, uh, module. Then for uh, uh, even lower co power consumption, we have uh, the Song Comex Pro, uh, Comex Plus, the CT6 uh, um, ASL, featuring uh, Intel Next Gen Atom processor, codename Intel Armstrong Lake. Um, and from there, with even lower power consumption, we have uh, our new smart modules. All right. Uh, so let's check those out for one second. Yeah. Um, how's it going with the uh, Intel in the embedded world? There's a lot of applications out there. Yeah, there are a lot of applications for Intel in the embedded world in general. We, we can range from, I don't know, from uh, industrial to medical to uh, automotive. Automotive grade is a very interesting uh, field right now, for, uh, even for Intel processor. Uh, until now, it was uh, uh, just ARM-based. Uh, it, it was... Uh, uh, just an ARM-based uh, world, uh, but uh, Intel is, is moving for infotainment. Uh, for uh, uh, they are presenting many AI propositions. So, for uh, um, uh, um, uh, for uh, for the automotive market, automotive market, yeah, in that, yeah. Uh, and uh, people have been asking for the extra performance, so Intel delivered. Uh, yeah, exactly for uh, the. Com HPC line is uh, the industrial response uh, for uh, more, more powerful, more performances that uh, is needed right now for uh, for AI application mainly. So here, the smart, what do we see? Yeah, here we are featuring our low power proposition. So the smart is uh, a very small form factor. Here we have uh, the SumSmart MX95 featuring the NXP IMX95 processor. Um, he, here, um, um, NXP is presenting a very powerful octa-core processor paired with uh, an, uh, their, their uh, EIQ NPU. This for, is a brand new NXP, right? Yeah, yeah, is the, the, the latest. The first one to bring it? Yeah, it's the latest uh, uh, family of product. And uh, from there, we are proud to announce uh, our new SOMSMARC QCS 64, uh, 6490 uh, that feature the Qualcomm QCS 6490 processor. Here, we have even more powerful uh, AI accelerator. Here, we have uh, a dedicated NPU with uh, 13, 13 tops of power right in this module. So it's very much uh, AI optimized. Yeah, the, the, the ARM proposition is now very, very AI focused uh, proposition, yeah. All right, and uh, all these will have decade support. How long you will Yes, long of support? course, yeah. yeah? And, uh, we are talking uh, 10, 15 years of support. Uh, we, I can say is the, quite the standard for, uh, for the industrial market, uh, um, but uh, uh, sometimes uh, is, uh, can be even extended if uh, for some product, uh, for uh, some, something like the NXP IMX6 uh, is still supported uh, after 20 years. So 20 years support. Yeah. So people have them in their boats or in their yeah, yeah. special cars or exactly. all kinds of things. It's a uh, very low consumption uh, processor, so is, uh, uh, there is still a lot of demand. The IMX95 processor is the NXP response to the IMX6. It's trying to move the, the, um, the clients to the new generation of products. And uh, do you, did you work with people who make like special EVs or 
Yeah, uh, we, people who make what do they do? Uh, uh, we work with uh, people in uh, all kinds of industries. We we can range from uh, uh, I don't know from uh, vending to uh, boats. Yeah, the boat uh, producer. Uh, let, let's say um, uh, the infotainment system, the geolocation system inside boats. Airplanes. Uh, airplanes still not, but submarines. Uh, <laughs> submarines. We have we had request uh, uh, yesterday. Yesterday. Oh wow! Yeah. Cool. And I see a lot of other uh, things here on the board. Yeah, yeah. We here we have uh, the, our full proposition. We we have uh, the the last uh, uh, atom processor even in our smart format. We have the new um, uh, MediaTek Genio 700 processor too. <coughs> Very interesting product uh, as well. We have uh, the um, the little brother of the EMX 95, the EMX 93, that we are going to see in inside another box at the solution um, right. in a moment. Uh, it's uh, a little smaller, but obviously with the less power uh, consumption. All right, and uh, here, uh, here we have uh, the our our uh, two uh, proprietary modules. Uh, all, all the other ones are standard modules, are standard four-factor four modules. Here we have uh, our two um, proprietary proposition, Mayon and Triceps, for even even smaller form factor uh, respect, uh, in, in respect of uh, the standard one. Here, th this one are for uh, um, very constrained uh, solution. All right. And as uh, a busy booth. Yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, yesterday is well, it was uh, it was uh, already busy. Today is uh, even busier. Nice. <laughs> Should we go around this way? Yes. Yes, yeah. we can. So, what do we see here? We can move to uh, talking about uh, smart modules. We can move to our HMI proposition, our latest HMI proposition, where we. Uh, here we are displaying uh, three of our modular vision products, the 15 inches, the 10 inches, and the 7 inches. Here proposed with uh, um, an Elkhart Lake uh, uh, processor, the IMX 8M Plus processor, and IMX 93 processor. Uh, but they are made with modularity in mind, so they are uh, HMIs that can be customized here we can see in, inside here, um, we can found a smart module, like the one that we, we saw before, and uh, you can personalize everything as you like. On the same concept, with modularity in mind, we have the modular link, so we have uh, an industrial <coughs> gateway with uh, a main module that uh, we can see here, uh, featuring uh, an IMX 95 uh, processor inside, um, IMX 93, sorry, um, smart module inside. Gigabit, but, gigabit LAN? Yeah, two, two 2.5 gigabit LANs, one, uh, um, uh, one serial, uh, the, um, two the, the, the programmable uh, serial, um, um, mini uh, HDMI, uh, I debug uh, USB port and then two regular uh, USB What's ports. Here? here we have uh, we have uh, a couple of uh, of uh, IOs and uh, the four antennas for uh, um, Wi-Fi and uh, GSM communication. But but uh, the power of uh, this solution is the fact that uh, it could be expanded. Here is displayed uh, the. Um, Put it on some kind Here. of rail or oh, something. Yeah, yeah. This is uh, the the um, D rail connector, but uh, it can be uh, also wall mounted. Here we we are displaying uh, the expansion board with uh, multiple IOs, but uh, we can have uh, uh, with uh, canvas with uh, um, with also more Ethernet. Yeah. And uh, the the very interesting fact that they can be stackable, so you have. Uh, you can have multiple extension boards. What do, what do we see in the middle there? This is the, the connector between the two. So you can have this, uh, this part, this is a, a simple connector we, we made. High to, speed? 
high speed, very, very high speed. We, we made it ourselves because uh, to, um, uh, to achieve uh, the, the best performance we can do. Nice. Uh, here we have uh, um, some of, uh, other, uh, of the other box of the solution we, we have in catalog. We have the uh, Titan 290 with uh, the Eckhart Lake processor. Um, the uh, featuring uh, multiple IOs, two display ports, two gigabit Ethernet, um, uh, serial communications, USB, obviously, and uh, and a very 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 small form factor. But we can do smaller. We can do smaller with the Titan 235 Apollo Lake. Here with uh, multiple uh, uh, serial and two Ethernet, uh, two. Uh, USB port and two mini display ports. On the other side, other two um, USB ports. If the if the what we need is a, is a power instead of a small four factor, then we have the Titan 300 Tiger Lake um, Tiger Lake uh, uh, series of uh, of products. Here we have multiple. Uh, serials, multiple IOs, USBs, Ethernet, DisplayPort, USB-C, new uh, in, uh, in respect of the other ones. But the very powerful uh, uh, things of this is the multiple M.2 ports for, uh, for expansion. So uh, here we are proposing with uh, our partner Accelera a single product with uh, featuring our uh, Tiger Lake uh, uh, product and their M M.2 AI accelerator in a single package, ready to use. Talking about uh, partnership with uh, Accelera and, uh, and one of our products, I want to show you the, the, our new product, our new, newest uh, boxed solution with uh, Raptor Lake and the PCI Express uh, uh, Accelera product. Let's go there right now, uh, ju just to see those displays here is... Uh, yeah, the, is those displays are made by our sister company, Funnel. Uh, they are made, uh, um, they are very nice uh, uh, displays. They are uh, obviously our main uh, supplier of displays because uh, they are Seco, uh, part of Seco Group as well. and. Uh, um, here are, are just some of their very, very, very big proposition. All right, different shapes. Various for, various for factors, as you can see. All right, so you were saying uh, we're the, going to the next... The new, yeah. the new Palladius, please, follow me. Okay. Yeah. Here, yeah, sorry, it's quite busy. Yeah. Here. We can see the the new uh, Palladio. Uh, this is the Palladio 500, but we have uh, another one, another smaller one, the Palladio five, uh, 400. I can I can talk about the difference in a minute. Um, but the the common part between the two is that uh, they feature uh, Raptor Lake, uh, uh, the the 13th generation of uh, Intel processor, um, Core i processor, of course. Um, multiple uh, uh, USBs, multiple COM ports, various IOs, and from the other side, we uh, it's a little difficult to, to display, but uh, are uh, even more <laughs> Ethernet than before. We have uh, two default one and uh, the possibility to expand to um, four and uh, uh, up to eight. Ethernet, uh, no, up uh, up to eight Ethernet ports before, uh, with expansions, or uh, you can use uh, the other module that we we, hand, we we were displaying. So the the serial port uh, expansion, so we ha we could achieve up to six uh, um, uh, serial ports. And right now it's running some uh, yeah. AI stuff. Right now it's featuring uh, using the PCI Express uh, expansion board. Uh, is featuring uh, our demo with our partner Accelera that's, uh, that provided uh, the, their PCI Express solution. So um, 
here we are just running uh, YOLO V5, uh, a YOLO V5 uh, uh, model running uh, directly on, uh, on the board. Uh, so you can see the, the, the main module is, uh, is uh, hardly hot. It's, it's quite cold. It doesn't need uh, active, uh, active cooling. We are just displaying the possibility that we can have active cooling. But uh, from now on, I, I'd like to pass the, give the word to my colleague and friend Matteo to display all the, all the other demos. Nice. Ciao, Nicolas. Hi. Hi. I'm Matteo. I'm head of product marketing. And I would like to guide you through this uh, nice area where we basically collected uh, all the demos uh, that showcase our end-to-end -end technological solutions. So if you come with me to this part here, to the wall, we have, uh, um, well, basically our uh, edge products embedded, uh, in this case, uh, on an industrial uh, welding machine called Orbitalum from our um, uh, client, Orbitalum, that basically has uh, an HMI embedded on it. Then uh, we also have another edge solution here. It's, it's an SBC, and also we have a payment system here in this vending machine here. And uh, all the data that are coming from these two devices uh, are collected and orchestrated using our IoT software suite called CLIA. Well, basically, CLIA allows you to build uh, your IoT infrastructure, and it uh, has three different components on it. It has a starter, a device uh, cloud data hub, Edgeog, which is a device manager, that both of them are open source. Then we also have a, a portal, which is an IoT front end. Well, basically, all these data are collected from the edge to the cloud using CLIA, and then uh, the data are shown in an, a customized uh, um, UI, user interface, uh, for the industrial uh, device. It's here, it's called Orbitalum, and uh, you can see all the info of, uh, of the device, uh, um, the industrial machine, like you know, some nice graphs uh, showing the overview of welding and diameters and programs and logs and errors, of course. And then uh, in the, the other user interface here, that's coming from the vending machine that I mentioned before, and you have like the top products, uh, you have the revenues, you have the total payments, errors, and we have uh, different kind of uh, uh, pages uh, because we also have the device and fleet management so you can check all the, 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 of the fleet of your devices uh, that are basically all around the world and then you can collect like the total of revenues, total of streams and stuff like that. So it's cloud and yeah, it's exactly. secure? It's completely secure of course and uh, there is more because we also have uh, the AI capabilities and solutions. So coming back from where Francesco presented you the latest uh, uh, funless embedded PC, the Palladio 500, we have uh, this demo here called the AI People Detection and Object Recognition that features not only our funless embedded computers, but features uh, it is integrated with the Accelera Metis AI PU. Yeah, sorry, the, the microphone, can you? This uh, demo here uh, shows um, the AI People Detection and Object Recognition that basically analyze the data coming from four different uh, full HD streams. Uh, and execute complex inference uh, task uh, up to 214 tops, uh, achieving data analysis uh, at 130 frames per second. Then uh, we also have Studio X. Studio X is our customizable, easy to use platform for creating uh, your own AI powered support services uh, uh, through chatbot, uh, through AI assistant, uh, through like uh, live translation or chat with PDF. Well, basically, those are the demos that we have, but uh, again, more. We have uh, two more demos coming from uh, two different partners of ours. One is called System Electronics, another one is called Random Power, but I think I should leave uh, to them explaining uh, and presenting the demos. All right. So I'm Davide De Tommaso, hardware engineer in System Electronics. System Electronics is a company based in uh, Modena, uh, in the Motor Valley, and uh, we are part of Coesia. We develop tailor-made solution in terms of hardware. And we are able to cover each part of design systems from the blank sheet up to the mass production stages. 
Uh, we have our research and development department. We have our production plant. And we have also a quality laboratory with an, uh, an echoic chamber. And we are able to satisfy all the uh, principal certification requirements. So as EAC, ISO, and, and so on. In that case, we have a demonstrator of a warehouse system. And we have developed this CoreXpress. CoreXpress is an industrial PC composed of uh, Intel E7 processor plus an Accelera uh, MPU, Neural Processing Unit. It is capable of 240 tops, so tera extraction per second. And with CoreXpress, we are able to guarantee the artificial intelligence for the all typology of markets, so industrial, medical, automotive, and so on. In that case, uh, is it running on the screen right now is with those cameras? Yeah, those two cameras. In that case, we have only two cameras, but the system is capable up to seven cameras. I see three things here. Oh, those two three things are the illumination system. And the cameras uh, are? Actually, it's off because the uh, illumination is enough for the, for the uh, illumination of the shelf. And, and where, do you, where do you have the cameras? Where do you put the cameras? Those two ah, cameras? There. Yeah. One and the other one is there. Right. And so with those two cameras, what you can do? We are able to uh, acquire all the images in particular, guarantee the end detection and the peaking detection of several objects. So for example, here we have two stickers. And I can put it from the uh, cell number two to cell number three, OK? So we can game with it. So the game asks to me to interact with cell number one and cell number three. So I decide to pick up this pan from the cell number one and put it in cell number three. And the software said to me that it's a good job. So with this, you could uh, set up this Amazon shop. The, you know, like you could, uh, people can just buy stuff. It doesn't have to be Amazon, but uh, buy stuff and then uh, check out automatically. Yeah, yeah, exactly, exactly. Actually, is a, a solution that could improve the activity of a common operator in a warehouse management uh, uh, system or in, uh, for the operation department. So uh, it's a, a demo that could give, a, give us the opportunity to uh, collect several data and uh, uh, improve the work of the operators. Okay, hello, I'm Vittoria from Hypert Company and we developed the software of this demo application. So here you have different cells uh, of a drawer, and the software basically includes a neural network that uh, can detect your hands uh, over, the, over the cells, and it tells you with the, the cell the hand is interacting with. So for example, here we are interacting with cell one, cell two, et cetera, et cetera. And what the purpose of this application is to detect when the hand is grabbing or releasing something inside the cells and uh, uh, monitor the agent that is interacting with the cells. All right. And uh, so you are, um, it, this is based on the Linux application software? Yeah, yeah it's, it's Python. Uh, it's, well, this operating system was developed on, on Linux, and then we have uh, the Python uh, uh, language for developing the whole uh, framework. We use PyTorch as um, AI software, uh, AI framework, sorry. And um, yeah, we use a pre-trained model, and we uh, we 
plan to fine tune it on our context. And what's the potential? There's many, many different applications that could be developed. Yeah, I think we have many different uh, applications that we could uh, apply this uh, software on because this is done with hand, but we can do with different parts of the of the body, and we can transfer the same monitoring framework to other uh, contexts in industry, which is very common 